Us on Friday, we saw pop star turn painter Ian Watkins, H from Steps, uh, meet some of the shortlisted artists hoping to get their artwork on the walls of the world famous Royal Academy of Arts Summer uh, Exhibition. Uh, and tonight, H will be live uh, from the Academy, ready to reveal who has been successful. Their reactions to seeing their <laughs> artwork displayed on those walls for the very first time Amazing. is a lovely it moment is. not to be missed. And H will also be with Nick Rimshaw, who has a very special job to do now that the exhibition is open to the public. Like, like the dream team the there. The dream team, they're ready to go. Uh, right now, last Friday we met some of the artists who entered uh, this year's prestigious summer exhibition at the Royal Academy of Arts. Each year, over 16,000 people, both amateur and professional artists, apply to have their work featured in the exhibition but only a fraction succeed. Keen artist and pop star H from Steps was there to see who made it through. From 16,500 online submissions to the Royal Academy Summer Exhibition, only the very best have made it through to the second round of judging. And the standard this year has been absolutely incredible. Among them are three artists all hoping their pieces of art will make it into this year's exhibition. This looks like an artist lived here. <laughs> First time entrant Kate Screenprint is inspired by a flower opening up from the inside out. You've had a lot of success prior to this, right? You famously designed the Chemical Brothers album yeah. sleeve. Why would you enter into the competition now? It's a different validation though, isn't it? A sort of footfall of that as a space and people from all around the world. I think that's, that's something else, isn't it? Hoping her Indian woodblock piece will make it is Neera. It's inspired by memories of her parents and childhood gardens. I can absolutely see your art in your house and your house in your art. It has so much emotion and oh, yeah. heritage. I'd lost my parents two years ago and the block printing has really helped me. It's just a very meditative process. What would it mean to you to go a bit further in the RA? I think to have your work in one of the most incredible galleries in the world. Mm -hmm. I think life goals definitely, for me, that, that would be Also drawing on the space around her is first-timer Rebecca. What would it mean to you to see your work on the wall at the Royal Academy? I'd love to say it was like a dream come true, but I've never even thought to dream that far. There's so much perspective. How do you achieve this look? It's all from my own photography. So I'm out in the fields, taking photographs at funny angles, lying in the grass. In the but, public um, park? <laughs> yep, yep, just across the field, yep. The village knows me, oh, they know to look out. It's the, it's the mad <laughs> flower lady. <laughs> yeah. There you go, inspiration for a new painting. I feel oddly romantic. <laughs> You're barking up the wrong tree yet. <laughs> While the artists now have an anxious wait to find out if they've been selected, I've been given special access inside the galleries where judges like renowned sculptor Anne Christopher decide which pieces will make it. You have first timers, you have people that are names in the art yeah, world. Yeah. So yeah. it's a really mixed bag. Oh, totally. And you I'm... don't know the history of the people, the open submission. You don't know anything about them. Deciding which pieces should go where can be an art form in itself. Sometimes there's a piece of work you really love. It does not work in anybody's room. The poor artist then gets this email saying, accepted but not hung, which means that we've approved it, but we can't find a space for it. It doesn't flow with the room that it's in. The wait is now over, but have the judges found a space for our three hopefuls works of art? I'm excited. I've not looked, so here you go. First up, it's Kate's screen print. Okay, ready? Your artwork, inside out, has been selected. Yes! Yay! <laughs> you are a working artist, you're established, and it still means so much to you. Oh, of course. Well, it's that building, isn't it? I've been there since I was a kid, visiting. To think that you have something in there, that's really nice. Next, Nira's woodblock art. Dear Nira Sergal, we are delighted to inform you that you are very selective. I'm so proud of you. You've done it. <laughs> and finally, like all the other artists, Rebecca, along with her daughters, have been on tenterhooks too. I don't want to do it. Dear Rebecca Harrington, 
We are delighted to let you know that your artwork has been selected for this year. How do you feel? Oh, I'm a bit flabbergasted. Thank you so much for sharing this with me. It's really special. Now our artists can look forward to seeing their work take pride of place here at the Royal Academy of Arts. What an achievement. Oh, a huge congratulations to everyone who got through. Now, early today, the gallery opened its doors to all of the successful artists and Rebecca and Neera saw their art in pride of place for the very first time. This was Neera's reaction. Oh my gosh. No words, just totally overwhelmed. I didn't swap my work straight away, it just jumped out at me. I might look composed, but inside I'm a little girl running around <laughs> doing somersaults. <laughs> it's my work. Ah, oh, happy tears. <laughs> and this was Rebecca's. proud of myself to have one of my pieces up there. I have three little girls who will, um, who will really enjoy coming to see this. I hope they can see I'm a daughter and a wife and a mother and, and now I'm an artist. Love that. Hard work, what an achievement. Off. Great Brilliant. achievement, it really yeah. was. Uh, and we also saw Kate in the film. Now, she's not had a chance to see her artwork on the walls just yet, uh, but she's about to right now as she's there live with H at the Royal Academy of Arts. Um, H, uh, how is she feeling? Uh, <laughs> I'm holding on to a very nervous artist right now. This is Kate, and she's had an excruciating wait because You've had a look around the whole exhibition, mm -hmm. but yep. we've very cruelly stopped you going in that room right there. Because in that room, on one of those walls... Could be my work. Not could be, is, is your work. Yeah. Um, <laughs> how difficult has it been not entering that room? Just don't look at the blue. I knew it was a blue room. I was like, okay, I've, actually, I've been good. I've been good. I've not, I've it not will, peaked. It'll complement your work. Yeah. Yeah. Are you ready? I'm ready, let's do it. Then follow me. Okay. Okay, how are you feeling? Yeah, a bit clammy, a bit nervous. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All will be revealed okay. very, very soon. I know exactly where it do is. You? Wow. Okay, Love follow me. Ah, oh my word, the blue is I love the blue wall with it. It's perfect. I really uh, that's really yeah, wow. It's amazing. I'm so happy. God. I think it looks absolutely beautiful. Kate, you've had your work on many, many walls. Yeah. But yeah. these are hallowed walls. I mean, how does it feel to see your work hanging in the Royal Academy? It's overwhelming. Yeah, um, it's overwhelming. I've come here since I was a child with uh, my family to look at exhibitions because artist friends have been in there. Never thought I'd be in it. It's really... Special, very special. I'm yeah. so chuffed for you. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to leave you, take it all in. Thank you. Well, I have a little chat to a dastardly duo. Hello. <laughs> Rebecca yeah. Salter, who is the president of the Royal Academy, and also, hello, hello. sir, isn't it Grimshaw? How are you? Really good, thank you. Um, now, Nick, I know that you are really passionate about art, mm -hmm. and you have a really important role at the Royal Academy, don't you? Yeah, so I've been involved with the, the summer exhibition with the party for a, a number of years now and usually I will come and offer up my skills at DJing. Mm -hmm. So they have a wonderful party and it's I'll creative. come and DJ. It's creative. Um, but this year I have a role in judging one of the prizes. There's prizes given out every year. Um, and this year I'm going to be on the judging panel for artists under the age of 35. No pressure. Yeah, no pressure. No <laughs> pressure. So yeah, an actual job this year, I feel. Yeah. 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 Rebecca, yes. Kate has obviously seen her work on the wall. Yeah. But that's what this exhibition is, ab is about, isn't it? It's, a, it's something for everybody and anybody can it's, enter. It's a festival of creativity and you can apply from anywhere in the world and you may find you, yourself hanging next to a famous art, a famous academician. I'm asking for a friend, <laughs> no names mentioned. Um, if someone wanted to enter the competition next year, how would they go about that? I would just suggest they keep an eye on our website and it will probably go live in about January and then you can get painting. Mm. I've got so, a fire in my belly. Yeah. I've been walking around these walls and I may just may enter next year. We'll see. But if not, you could 
collect something, that's the other... Because I know, oh, Nick, you buy it, yeah. don't you? Yeah, I do, yeah. So and that's, that's the, the other alternative. Yeah. Is that but you should be in it, you should be in it. OK. Alex, do you buy, do you collect? Or both. Yeah, both. I just, usually. I just love the exhibition. Uh, we go everywhere. It's, yeah, it's just tell me about it, wouldn't you? And the yeah. blue wall, it sets off Kate's work yeah. beautifully, doesn't it? It's perfect. Thank you, everybody there. Yeah. Brilliant. Um, and a huge <laughs> congratulations <laughs> to all of the successful artists. I yeah. think he's dancing now. Is he? No, he stopped. Right? Great job. Fine. Great job, Good. everyone.